Just one hour, the Savannah Mall will close its doors to the public for the last time. For some, saying goodbye to this mall is not easy. Our Mariah Congito joins us now live. Mariah, you were there today. What was it like as people went through for the last time? Well, Don, it was definitely emotional. I talked to several people today who say they made it a point to stop by and take some pictures and relish in the memories of what was once a very happening place. I'm trying to fight back tears because I literally grew up here. Katina Madison and her daughter Harmony made the hour and a half drive from Jessup to take it all in for one last time. Even though for Harmony, this was more like her first time. When she was a baby, um, we brought her over. It was kind of like a tradition just to ride the carousel. But of course she doesn't remember now. Madison says she used to come to the mall not just to shop, but to hang out. She says there's still a picture in her mind of why she loved coming here so much. The beauty, the charm, the people, um, the atmosphere it was always festive and fun. Now it's quite the opposite. The gates have been pulled down and it's eerily quiet. Nothing I can do. Just, you know, just roll on with it. George Freeman is the owner of Katma Defense Martial Arts Studio. He says his studio was in the mall for a little more than three years and having a space to teach his craft was exciting. It was good having a good space where I could actually attract people. We did have traffic of people coming by. He says he moved all of his equipment to his garage a few days ago, and today he had just one more thing to let go of. So you officially gave the keys back today. today. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a uh, relief uh, because all that was going on is just it's, it's done with. You know, uh, it was great being here. Uh, I, you know, I benefited from being in this location. I hope that they do something worthwhile for the community with this location. The new owners of the mall have been working with the city to decide the next steps for the building. All of that is up in the air right now. We'll continue to follow up in the days ahead. It is important to note that the outside store, so that's Target, Dillard's, and Bass Pro Shops, will still be open. Live in Savannah, Mariah Congito, WTOC News.